So let's be clear what we're going to do now. We want we're going to do a piece of raised embroidery and this is the this is the embroidery that we're going to be doing or something to look like this. Um, now we need for for that embroidery we need to we're going to need stabilizer in the bottom and above that we're going to have we're going to we're, we're going to need the craft foam and then above that we need the texture the fabric with the texture on it we can't put the texture on the fabric though while it's with the foam underneath it so we need to, we're going to need three steps we're going to need the foam, the embroidery, the outline of the foam to be cut out, actually be it'll pop out by itself. We need the fabric with the stabilizer and um and with the the eye chest on it in with the texture. And then we need to put those three layers together with the foam under the texture. And then we need to outline that IHS with embroidery. So we're going to need three embroidery files. And so let me start up digitizer. I've opened up a new hoop. I brought in my picture. This is the right size for the IHS. This is a better picture than the one I originally started with. I kept the outline that I had used on made with the first IHS, but the letters were in green, if you remember that picture. And um, they were ugly because I really couldn't see what was going on in here. But since I'm, I'm gonna need the border, so I kept it. But the letters need to be done over. So let me get close enough in here. And close enough to, so we'll start with the I. And I'm going to use digitize a close shape. Close shape because I can use a fill or a line and I can switch do the one it once and and switch between the two. I'll show you what I mean. So um so I'm gonna start up here and just click along the edge where as if I was making a fill. And even though these are curves, but I'm doing the straight, but that's why I'm doing it close together, the clicking and close together. I can always come in and reshape anything and change some of them from, from uh, straight to curved if I need to. Now in here, we'll go around. back up because I didn't like that. Okay, so and I click enter and this is now a fill in which is fine with me because I'm going to need a fill that'll be textured. So what I'm going to do is, but I also need an outline for the satin, and I also need a straight outline for the foam. So what I'm going to do is take this, copy it, and paste it, and paste it. So I got three of them. Let me come in here to the objects. And so I have three of these. 
And I'm going to take this one and turn it into a line. And that's going to be a triple line. That's for the foam. And then I'm going to turn this one into a line. And that's going to be a satin stitch. And I'm there's that 3D satin what I was talking about, but this is going to be a regular satin. And uh, I'm going to probably want to change. I'm not going to probably want it that wide. So let me see if I can make my objects box a little bit bigger here. So down here, I don't want the auto split. It's, it's just a border, so it doesn't matter. And I want the spacing instead of 0 0.07, I want to say probably 0 0.05. Let's see what five looks like. That looks better. Okay, so 0 0.05. Now, the, um, the fill, we need uh, a motif fill. So we want a objects objects property for that. We want a motif fill embossed. Um, and we want the one that's uh, I think it's called knots three. Let's go up here. This this knot two one. That's the that's what I used on the other uh, embroideries and that's going to be a gold color. So let's stop that. So let's turn on the true view. This is going to be a gold color and sequence. This one can be black. Let's turn it brown now. And this one is going to be red um because that's your your final outline so those are the three things that i'm going to need um and the three different files so i just need to do repeat this process with each of these letters and then separate them into files this outline this border outline is going to go with the red this gets done last so does the border so this will be the first file, this will be the second file, and then this and this will all be the third. So I'm just going to repeat that same process here. So let's move this over and Undock you. All right, so so um, now this little piece here, I'm going to I'm going to do it, but I'm going to, afterwards. I'm going to separate it off. Um, I'll show you what I what I need so that. Um, when the foam, when we do the foam, it won't be connected with the foam here. There'll be a notch in here, uh, which uh, because afterwards this needs to be enough space there for this embroidery, the satin embroidery afterwards, because this needs to look like it's coming through here. Now, I would say if I were looking up this close, there's probably a line down the center of these. This is probably two pieces. And the same here. There's probably a line from here straight down to here too. And that probably goes all the way up like this. Now it wouldn't surprise me if in these S's, the S, the curve of the S here, there's one. And in the on this side too. And in the eye, if there's one, but I don't have it here to look at, so I don't know that. And I'm 
so I can't really put it in. But um, I will. I think I am going to put these two in. Later, later I can always add these to it. All right, so we're going to go around this just like we did before. So uh, we're going to go back to the fill. Whoops. Not that you. I don't need anything selected. All right, so we're going to digitize a closed shape and make sure it's on fill, which it is, and start up here, anywhere. When we well, later, we'll go back and when we have the different files, we'll go back and check starting and ending points. So right now, all I need is the outline of everything. So I'm just going to go through this. I like that when I get near the end of the the hoop, it automatically scrolls, that I don't have to stop clicking it, it scrolls for me. Digit, um, PE Designs and Floriani didn't do that. I don't know if the hatch does it or not. See, when I got there, it just automatically goes to the the next area. Go up a little higher there, right there. Actually, I want to back that out because I said I said I wanted to make this one piece. So because I need this notch in here for the, so I'm gonna have to separate that as a separate piece. And here and here and here. Enter. Now I need I need to cut a hole here. So 
that's easy enough to do. Digitize holes. And um, I need to see what I'm doing. I can just I can just barely see it. It's here. I could I could turn that off. Uh, it would still be there and it would still digitize the hole. So enter. All right, so there's the hole. Um, reshape. This is off this line right here. And everything else looks pretty good. Okay, now again, I want to go into the resequence, click this, copy it, paste it twice. And I'm going to turn one of these into, um, it's a fill. I'm going to change it to, uh, embossed the not not whatever it is not to this not to and I want that gold and why didn't it do anything is showing it is oh because I have three others in to, on top of that so so let's this one we want to change to a line a plain running line but triple triple run line and the third one this one we want to change to uh, a line red and satin and with the um, point zero five and so that's 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 two of them, and now we just have to do now we have to do this little piece. So let's come back up here. This little piece right here. All right, digitize the close shape. Make sure it's on fill, and I do the same thing here. Enter, reshape, copy, paste, paste. This one is going to be a line, and it's a um, triple run line. And I think I, cha I want those brown. I don't think I did change the other one. And the other one, so this one's going to be brown. And um, this one is going to be a line, but it's going to be satin. And it's going to be 0 0.05.
and the fill is going to be embossed not to and gold okay and I didn't change that satin to red uh, so this one needs to be red now these three um, not all three of these but this one well I'll wait till later there's no point doing it yet so now we just have to do the S so come down here digitize an, a closed shape fill and start here and go around the outside I'm really going around in the red area between the red and the black. Now these tools are still in hatch, the ones that I've, I'm using today. So you could do this if you have hatch. Uh, you could just follow right along and do this if you needed to, uh, if you wanted to make your own. And then I'm going to show you how this sews out too, how, how we put this together. Enter. Okay, so resequence. We're going to take this, copy, and paste it twice. We're going to turn that one into gold and do um, emb embossed. Come on. What happened here? Fill. All right, whatever it did wrong, I think it. All right, this one. Object properties. Fill. Whatever it did, I don't know, but you can always undo it. All right, there's the pattern down here. And. I want embossed, here it is, um, there it is, embossed, and uh, down here, the knot, alphabetical order, knot. Okay, so that should have been this one. I didn't have anything selected, so I may, oh, I'll probably have to go in and do this all over again. Colors, objects, just make sure we got that one right. And then the next one is going to be the brown line, triple run. 
And the third one is going to be red line satin. And 0 0.05. So, so let's go out and take a look at what we got. So when we're done, we want it to look a little bit like this, but let me close these object properties box so we can see. We want it to look a little bit like this. Let's turn off the the artwork. We don't need it now. So we want it to look a little bit like that, but three-dimensional. So the first thing is I need my resequence box again. Uh, view. Resequence manually. All right. So I almost never turn the resequence box off, but I don't usually keep the object properties open. I like to be able to go back and forth between the colors. So first thing we're going to do is put the colors together. That will put the different types of things together. So, uh, so I'm going to move this one up here, this one up here. The black is going to go at the very top. That's just a crosshair in the middle. Oh, they also have this one black. Um, that's that's going to be part, that's going to be your brown too. Um, so this up here, here, gold, brown, gold. All right. So now I see, need to see the objects. Should be a black object somewhere. I don't see it. Oh, I, I probably didn't put it in. All right, so we need that. Uh, so I'm going to select all. I can drag a box over everything, but just select all. I want to make this, sure this is all centered. So my outline is between right at the red edge, so it can't go any further than that. But I think the IHS in the middle needs to be changed a little bit. So I'm going to do a control and delete that from from my grouping and just move this over a little bit. What I want is this black box and this black box to be on this zero line because then I should be in the center. Okay, that's good. And now I want to digitize an open line and this can be black. Um, so I want black and I'm going to come in close enough that I can see what I'm doing. I always, I always put a mark for the center. I never sew the mark with thread. I often sew it, uh, with an empty needle just to make sure everything's where it should be. Okay. So those, that's what I need. Now I'm going to put this in every single one. So for for one hoop I need all of the brown and this this black one. So control click and the brown and I'm going to cut that out. Open a new hoop. and paste it. So that should give me, that gives me the crosshairs in the middle so that all of them are aligned up together. And this is my outline. This is for the foam. Now I am going to take this one and drag it off to the side so that I have a notch in there. Um, and later I'll be putting, after it's all the textures all done, I'll be putting this back where it belongs. But for now, I, I want, I do, I want that notch. So this needs to be at the top because it's going to get sewed first. 
And now I can just save this. This is going to be my my foam hoop. Uh, so I'm going to save it as IHS foam. I think I already have one of these because I think I've already done this. Let's go back here. I'm going to save it as IHS foam. I yeah. I'll close that one and save this one as file. Save design as. And I want this, I need to pick the file it's going to go in. This is going to go in my file with the other, the other parts of this design. So this is IHS foam. And save that. Yes, I want to replace the one that's there. So that's this one. Now go back to the design we just did. Wherever that is, it's not that one. I can close that one. No, don't quite. No, don't save. All right, so now I want the one for the texture and the texture. I'm going to undo this again because I want that black line back. And I'm going to just delete the brown because we've already got that. Delete. So I want the black and the gold. And copy those or cut them. Let's cut them. And paste them in a new hoop. File. Say uh, new from template. And paste. So this is my black should be first. This is my texture hoop. This will be the second hoop that gets sewed. And then so File, save as, save design as, same place, IHS texture. Yes. And then um go back to my design now this is the third this is the third sewing and you can see from looking at this that i did not change the settings on this one so i need to change this the object properties on this i didn't change to five so let's do that point zero five enter okay that looks better now i need to look at this and make sure everything is now this is the way i want it and um except that i want that red line that comes up in here and at the top so i'm going to put that in right now that's just going to be digitize an open line and I'm just going to sew it from here. Um, escape. Let's turn the picture back on just. All right. You can't see it that well on here, but um, it looks like it goes to here. And to there. It could all, all go all the way up and it probably does, but I think I'm going to stop it there. Whoops. Backspace. Enter. All right. I want to select that one and I want to turn that red. And I probably want 
I want that probably to run more than one time. I'll do a back stitch on that. And then there could be a line down here, but I think if I put a line down here, it's going to defeat the purpose of this. But there is a line here, meeting the, where this splits here, the same as this one that it splits here at the bottom. There needs to be a line there to show there's a split. So I'm going to digitize an open line, same red color, and come here to here. Enter and select that and do a back stitch on that. But it needs to be red. Okay, so resequence, that's all showing up. It will do those last and it'll jump to those. I mean, I could go in and when it gets to this point here, have it go in here, but for now, I'm not worried about that. I need to sew this off. I need to sew this off. It's what I call the the rough sewing. Just like when you write, you do a rough draft to see and need see what needs to be corrected. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some distortion. And I'm guessing most of my distortion is going to be around this side here and may this side here. Those are the fur farthest away from the center. But you never can tell. So um, we need to, I need to sew it off one time, and then come in and make any little changes that have to that have to take place. So this is going to be saved as uh, another file. File save as save to design as. Um, I H S center and save it. So next step is sew it and see if it works.